Hey guys. So today we're going to learn the name, location, and general function of your 12 cranial nerves. It's a lot easier than you think, I promise. When learning the cranial nerves, my advice is to just learn them by number and location first and then go back and apply the names. So there's one, two, three. Now remember that three is on top of the pawns. The mistake a lot of people make is they confuse it with this, which is the mammillary body. Four, on some models it's a wire, on other models it looks more like a line. Five, six, seven, then right next door you have number eight. You drop directly down from number eight, and that's number nine. Right below number nine is number 10. Off of number 10 is a little line, which is actually number 11. And number 12 is in the middle. Between 9, 10, and 12, that's where the olives are, although you cannot see them in this picture. So to remember the names, we have a mnemonic device. One out of 10 tutors actually finds vegetables good. Vegetables are horrible, which helps you remember the names olfactory, optic, oculomotor, trochlear, trigeminal, abducens, facial, vestibulocochlear, glossopharyngeal, vagus, accessory, and hypoglossal. On this slide we have both the general function, um, meaning sensory, motor, or both, and the exit. So to remember the functions, you just have to remember, some say marry money, but my brother believes big brains matter more. And I know a lot of people get concerned that they have to know the exits, but it really makes sense if you think about where the nerves are on the brain so the olfactory nerve exits through the olfactory foramina, which are the little foramen inside the cribriform plate. The optic nerve exits through the optic canal. Then most of the rest, or well, actually all of the rest of the nerves to do with the eye, all go through the superior orbital fissure. However, it should be noted that because the trigeminal nerve has three branches, it has three exits. So it also exits through the foramen rotundum and the foramen ovale. The facial nerve actually exits through the internal acoustic meatus um, and then travels and fully exits the skull via the stylomastoid foramen. The vestibulocochlear, which hopefully by now you know um, is a nerve for your ears, exits through the internal acoustic meatus. Um, the glossopharyngeal vagus and accessory all exit through the jugular foramen. And the hypoglossal nerve exits through the hypoglossal canal. So really it's not too terrible um, if you just try to make sense of it. All right, so that's all the information I have for you tonight. Good luck studying.